Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope, and this is a step by step tutorial according to creating a logo. And we're going to make um, a logo for my company, which will be a logo just as a mock up version. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select the text tool, we're going to power text and what we're going to do is we're going to say capital U and then ultra gene we're going to select ultra dream and then we're going to turn it into a symbol so fn f8 and call it text one the clicking side of it we're going to make it bigger and what we're going to do is we're going to break it apart to turn the text into vector artwork it's control and B and straight away I thought of something which is to grab that and just pull it out totally um, we just need to undo it undo it um, there's a snap to edges so what we need to find is the snap to edges um, which is here I think snap align snap objects turn them off Do that with the G and then put snap on again. No, don't do that. Turn that snap off. When you use snap to edges, um, it estimates the distance so <clears throat> you can use it to make sure it's perfectly straight we're going to change the G like that and we're going to change the U like that and then we're going to get a rectangle tool because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box around it so I'm going to come out with the symbol, I'm going to add a layer in, layer 2, I'm going to pour it underneath, <coughs> and with logos, it's better to be really simple, and I seem to think that a box around it, like that, I'm going to grab hold of this and call it logo box, so symbol, logo, box, this tutorial is going to be really fast and I'm happy with what I've just thought which I thought just then and I'm going to say duplicate symbol ok copy I'm going to modify transform rotate 90 degrees I'm going to do that I'm going to do I'm going to go inside of it and cut off to there. I'm now going to grab this one, control copy control shift V and believe it or not I'm actually happy with that. So I'm going to select these three and move up so it's level. Um, just that is looking good. But if I have this one in line with the G, just go inside of it and just cut the piece off, which is just using the arrow and pulling out a rectangle. It's exactly there. 
Oh no. It's the same symbol, so duplicate symbol. Okay. You're back inside of the separate timeline and just cut it off. And I think that <coughs> is quite good. But now I'm going to use a little square that size and call it FN box. I actually I'm thinking about using this logo as one of my logos as a new logo. All I did is copy and paste it. <coughs> and I'm going to copy and paste all of them again. there we go a perfect ultra dream logo and I'm keeping that file save as um, wherever you want to save it but that is the logo tutorial I'm liking that ultra dream logo and I'm gonna work with it and I'm gonna keep it as one I use man thank you for listening